our business is working with organizations to develop customized expeditions that support their goals in terms of leadership development. We created the Leadership Navigation Challenge because we found that a lot of people didn't have enough time to go on extended expeditions. So we distilled the leadership curriculum from thousands of expeditions over 45 years and boiled it down so that we can present our leadership curriculum itself in a day or less. It's essentially an orienteering course using GPS. People are given coordinates that they need to go find. Some of them have activities associated with them, some of them have clues that they need defined. There are challenges built in to bring out more group dynamics and problem solving skills and decision making skills. They're in small groups in competition against each other. Just competing won't make you succeed. You've actually got to collaborate with the other teams as well. So it's a great analogy for the workplace. It calls on you to use particular leadership qualities. Some of them you may not be good at, you know, some you may be lacking. The pace was quick, you know, there was a little sense of urgency. Uh, which required a lot of, I guess you would maybe call it task management. So there was a lot of strategizing and thinking on your feet required. There was tremendous value for when you go back to the office um, and you're forced with an objective with your team. Uh, there was tremendous value in some of the things that were put to use at this uh, leadership challenge. We do a thorough debriefing afterwards, and a lot of the learning comes out during that debriefing. That then sets the organization up to think about how you can transfer those skills from the curriculum as put into action in the exercise back to their organization. The debriefing is critical because research shows that reflecting on your experiences is a key part of the learning process. We'll do a small group debriefing first with the team and talk about how the decision making went, what the tone and style of each participant was, what their conflict resolution styles were. Then we bring all the groups together and talk about lessons learned, best practices, and try and transfer that to people's organizations so that they think about how can we do better learning as an organization. It's a way to get people to talk to each other about their leadership and communication styles with lower consequence than talking about actual things that happen in the workplace. And then that opens the door, hopefully, for those clients, those organizations, to go back and actually talk about the things they need to talk about in their organization to move forward. I thought it was going to be just kind of a fun team building type of exercise, but it required a lot of like self-awareness and you know, knowing when to step up and take initiative and knowing when to follow. It's a brilliant way to work on team building and leadership.